So what's the most fun you can have in a car? I'm talking donuts! I'm talking power slides! <laughs> now, what's the scariest thing that can happen in a car? A spin out, losing it, going backwards into the wall. On the one hand, we have the epitome of fun. On the other hand, we've got the heights of scary. And what do they have in common? Well, they both result from the same handling characteristic, oversteer. And that is what we're talking about today on The Racing Line. So what is oversteer? Well, if you've been watching some of our other shows, you're probably quite familiar with it. <laughs> Why do you see it all the time? Because it looks exciting. But what does it all mean? Simply put, it just means the rear tires have lost grip before the front tires. In the high-performance driving world, a little oversteer is called rotation. It means the car is right on the edge. It helps turn the car, makes it feel lively and responsive. It's fast. But it can be tricky to control. Consequently, a lot of oversteer is often called a crash. So, if you plan on entering the hazardous world of oversteer, you better know what you're doing. So, how do you induce oversteer? The basic concept is you give the front more traction and the rear less. Here's four ways to do it. Number one, the lead foot. You just gas it and spin the back tires. The more power you have, the easier it is to do. Number two, the race technique, trail braking. Turn in with a light brake, putting weight on the front and making the rear light. Number three, extreme. Next is called the Scandinavian flick. You turn one way and then the other. Whoops, I did it backwards. I don't do a lot of rally, I mean, come on. Number three, extreme. You turn one way and then the other. Rally drivers use this to get around a tight corner. Number four, hooligan. Nail the emergency brake, locking the rear wheels. And don't blame me if you end up in a ditch. So how do you keep from ending up in a ditch? You keep your eyes on where you want to go, not at what you're afraid you might hit. Because if you take your eyes off the road, you're definitely gonna crash. So, how do you correct for too much oversteer? First off, stay away from the brake and the gas. They only make things worse. So when the rear starts to slide, do exactly what they told us in Driver's Ed. Steer into the skid. And if you catch the slide, immediately straighten the wheel. From all those cool shows on the Motor Trend channel, we've seen that oversteer looks fast. But is it? Let's find out. We're gonna start out on the track by driving all hooked up, just like I would in a race. Then we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna gas it. Let it all hang out.
As you can see from the result, oversteer isn't necessarily faster. Slide too much and there's a lot less grip. Time is lost through every corner. Also, we are destroying these tires. The heat and friction from spinning the tires literally burns them. Let's consider what's happening here in the Tire Rack Minute. We've done a little surgery to a tire to look at how it's built underneath that tortured rubber. There are layers and belts of structure that support the contact patch that meets the road. But what's really holding up the car is the air inside the tire. The friction of the tread against the pavement heats the tire from the outside in. The flexing of the layers of construction underneath heats the tire from the inside out. But wherever it comes from, too much heat is the enemy of a tire. That's where all that smoke comes from. And if anybody knows about smoking and destroying tires, it's a drifter. These guys live sideways. Their windshield wipers should be on the side windows. They put on a show and are judged for style, like Olympic skaters. Deep down inside, I'm a wannabe drifter, tell you the truth. But Darren, how's a street car different from a drift car? Basically, Randy, a modern drift car is a total race car nowadays. It's got the power of a dragster, it's got the grip of a road race car, and it's got the agility of a rally car. But the one thing that really does set it apart is the steering angle modification we do. It, it allows us to hold much longer, much deeper drifts. Now, I've been a road racer for 30 years. And drifting is really different. It looks like more fun to me, Darren. Drifting is a lot different to road racing. As a drifter, my job is to maintain the slide. Your job is to never let the car slide. So with an auto car like this, turn in, give it more gas until the rear starts to slip, and then we can control the slide just like this. I like the sound of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your eyes should always point in the same direction as the front tires. So if you can visualize the front tires, that's where I need to look to where I'm going. Looks easy. It is easy once you get used to it. <laughs> I've been doing this quite a while, so. So I see. Oversteer, it's the party drug of driving. It can make you feel like a hero, but if you get too much and lose control, it can ruin your life. Drift responsibly, driving enthusiasts, and we'll see you next time on The Racing Line. <laughs>